Hi everyone, my name is Ritesh and you are watching Dancing with Data. Today I want to give my review on uh, Tableau AI and Tableau Post demo. Where you are going to find this feature as far as Tableau Cloud is concerned. What is the metrics layer which is powered by AI, how you can configure it. And I'll also talk about one of my older videos six months back where I raised my concern with respect to the frequent name change of the brand and today they have again changed the name of the brand. Tableau Chat GPT is now Tableau AI. So this, this is the older video that I am talking about and in this video I talked about the exact thing. You started with uh, Einstein Analytics then you called it did this as CRM Analytics. Today we do have Einstein Discovery extension at Tableau Desktop. But this is an extension, so you need an external access over there. And I raised concern for that as well six months back. We all know that there have been a lot of layoffs and there have been certain changes as far as product leadership is concerned, and that is being reflected now. What you were calling Chat GPT, Tableau Chat GPT a few months back is Tableau AI now. And it makes sense because first chat Chat GPT is a separate product created by a separate company, which is OpenAI. On the other hand, we always say that Tableau Pulse powered by Tableau Chat GPT and that is powered by Einstein Analytics and Salesforce is the owner of Einstein Analytics. So why you need to take name Chat GPT from OpenAI? That was not making any sense to me earlier itself. With Power BI, you have Power BI Copilot, right? So they have their own name or you need to have your own name or a name that is that should be associated with Tableau, Tableau AI. AI is not a new name but Tableau AI means Tableau Artificial Intelligence. So it, it sounds like AI owned by Tableau. It's not like Tableau Chat GPT where I'm, we are thinking about Tableau then we are thinking about Chat GPT. So six months back this URL was active but today if you type in this URL it will take you to Tableau AI. The same. <laughs> so if you closely see over there I've typed in ta Tableau GPT over there. right? And if I press enter now, it, it has changed to Tableau AI. So, <laughs> so, and also the blog has changed, the pic has changed. So if you can see the title is changed, now Tableau GPT, it was like this earlier. Pedro, I, I see a different name over there now. So don't get confused. Tableau GPT is now Tableau AI. Earlier it was Tableau CRM mentioned analytics and now finally Tableau AI but I think it's for good because it gives you the feel of the ownership that AI that is owned by Tableau rather than Tableau chat GPT. So there is a slight change uh, in the demo as well so you can see December 23. So let's see the new demo. So let's watch the demo. On the metric detail page I can clearly see this latest anomaly picked up by Tableau and visually explained to me. I can also explore metadata on the metric that our analyst friends helped define so that I can trust what I'm seeing. And if I want, I can filter this view to my own liking while respecting my security context. Now that I know what I'm looking at, what about the why? Guided questions suggested by AI help me phrase what I want to ask but don't necessarily know how. Here, I'm interested to know which product drove this sudden increase. With one click, I get a plain, natural language insight accompanied by a visualization all coming from Tableau. This insight here shows me the top drivers behind this change, e-phones and Simpson phones. And of course, I have my own questions too. Now in this case, I'm wondering if we'll fulfill the phone orders. So I can simply start by typing in Pulse where smart and contextual recommendations come up at every step with the help of AI. And there you have it. Another metric, another insight, all answering my questions so as you can see, I don't see any uh, big change with respect to the demo that they had earlier. The only change that I see that they have revealed that uh, you can configure that with Tableau Cloud as well. So let me show you directly. But then you got the concept over here, right? That this is AI generative feature where it will show you what is happening. But at the same time, it will tell you why it is happening. It will also encourage you to take proactive action as well. So it's like descriptive, prescriptive, and it can be predictive as well. So it covers all the different aspects that is necessary for any story. Although Tableau has not released any official documentation or video where you can see the step-by-step -step method to configure it. But with Tableau Cloud, they have declared that you have data guide. So you have to go there 
and after that you can see the section for tableau pulse matrix and from there you can configure recommended matrix for superstore data source for this case but the important point over here is data analyst will be responsible to create this tableau pulse matrix layer where he and she will define the metric name measures and aggregation if not present then you need to define the calculation over there we need to also define the definitional filters maybe for the particular metric the status status should be open like open tickets the relevant time dimension is also necessary so that you are helping tableau ai to pick the correct date dimension over there also you need to provide a set of related dimensions over there Gen generally you are providing the focus points also we will provide additional information like you know increase in the particular metric is a good indicator or a bad indicator if you are getting more escalation calls and if you're working in a call center that's not a good metric that's bad but if you're getting more first time resolution with your call that in the first call itself you're resolving the issue then it's a good metric if it is going up in nutshell you need to configure it it's not like that tableau pulse on its own will decide on these factors so you need to assist tableau ai so that you get the right insightful insight so that's what i would like to tell you for now and when this is not released yet so you are not in a position to test this but as soon as it will release then i will definitely show you the demo as well because i'm very much interested and excited to see what it can do till then it's bye bye from ritesh uh, and uh, let's wait for the tableau ai i hope it will not change its name to tableau ultimate intelligence i hope so my great god bye bye see you keep on dancing with data